Dreamer is a pipeline-based multimedia framework written in the C programming language with the type system based on Gobject. Xtreamer allows a programmer to create a variety of media handling components, including simple audio playback, audio and video playback, recording, streaming and editing. The pipeline design serves as a base to create many types of multimedia applications such as video editors, streaming media broadcasters and media players. It is designed to work on a variety of operating systems, for example Linux kernel-based operating systems, the BSDs, Open Solaris, Android, OS X, iOS, Windows, OS-400. Xtreamer is free and open source software subject to the terms of the GNU Lesser General Public License and is being hosted at freedesktop.org. Distribution and Adoption The GNOME Desktop Environment, a heavy user of Xtreamer, has included Xtreamer since GNOME version 2.2 and encourages GNOME and GTK Plus applications to use it. Other projects also use or support it, such as the Camellio Media Platform, the Phonon Media Framework and the Songbird Media Player. Xtreamer also operates in embedded devices like the Palm Pre, Tizen and the Nokia 770, N800, N810, and 900 and N9 internet tablets running the Memo operating system. Xtreamer is also distributed by Collabora and Fluendo as a free and open source multiplatform SDK, available on Xtreamer.com. Developers working with the SDK will find it to be functionally identical on Windows, Mac OS X, iOS, Android and all supported Linux platforms. The SDK initiative aims to facilitate the commercial adoption of the Xtreamer project, as it provides a standardized entry point to developing multimedia applications with Xtreamer, without needing to build the entire platform by oneself. Users of the SDK also benefit from additional documentation, tutorials and instructions for installing and getting started with Xtreamer. While the Xtreamer SDK currently only ships a version of Xtreamer based on the 0.10 series, the Xtreamer community has provided binary builds of Xtreamer 1.0.7 using the same build tools as the SDK. Software Architecture Language Bindings a library written in one programming language may be used in another language if bindings are written. Xtreamer has a range of bindings for various languages such as Python, Valor, C++, Perl, GNU Gal and Ruby. Overview Xtreamer processes media by connecting a number of processing elements into a pipeline. Each element is provided by a plugin. Elements can be grouped into bins, which can be further aggregated, thus forming a hierarchical graph. This is an example of a filter graph. Elements communicate by means of pads. A source pad on one element can be connected to a sync pad on another. When the pipeline is in the playing state, data buffers flow from the source pad to the sync pad. Pads negotiate the kind of data that will be sent using capabilities. The diagram to the right could exemplify playing an MP3 file using Xtreamer. The file source reads an MP3 file from a computer's hard drive and sends it to the MP3 decoder. The decoder decodes the file data and converts it into PCM samples which then pass to the ALSA sound driver. The ALSA sound driver sends the PCM sound samples to the computer's speakers. Plugins Xtreamer uses a plugin architecture which makes the most of Xtreamer's functionality implemented as shared libraries. Xtreamer's base functionality contains functions for registering and loading plugins and for providing the fundamentals of all classes in the form of base classes. Plugin libraries get dynamically loaded to support a wide spectrum of codecs, container formats, input output drivers, and effects. Plugins can be installed semi automatically when they are first needed. For that purpose distributions can register a backend that resolves feature descriptions to package names. Since version 0.9, the plugins come grouped into three sets. Individual distributions may further sub-classify these plugins, for example Ubuntu groups the bad and ugly sets into the universe, or the multiverse components. There's also a separate Xtreamer FFMPEG plugin which is a FFMPEG-based plugin that supports many additional media formats. It was first released on February 26, 2004.
with version number 0.7.1. This plugin can transparently use Libov, and as such is often called the Extrema Libov plugin in recent Linux distributions. Video acceleration There are various SIP blocks that can do the computations to decode certain video codecs, such as Pure Video, UVD, QuickSync Video, TI Ducati, and more. Such needs to be supported by the device driver, which in turn provides one or multiple interfaces, like for example VDPAU, VAAPI, Distributed Codec Engine or DXVA to end user software like Mplayer to access this hardware and offload computation to it. It is possible to use Video Codec Engine with Xtrema through the OpenMax IL wrapper plugin GSTOMX. This is for example possible on the Raspberry Pi. The SIP call present on some Texas Instruments OCS is also accessible through Xtrema, GST DMI, GST OpenMax, GST DSP. VDPAU and VAAPI are supported with GNOME videos greater than or equal to 2.28.0 and Xtrema greater than or equal to 0.10.26 since 2010. Broads on Crystal HD is supported, media formats, the good, Bad and ugly extreme of plugins mentioned earlier provide, alongside processing elements filters of all kinds, support for a wide variety of file formats, protocols, and multimedia codecs. In addition to those, support for more than a hundred compression formats is transparently provided through the Xtrema FFMPEG Libov plugin. See the Libov and FFMPEG pages for a complete list of media formats provided by these plugins. History and Development Early Days Eric Wolginson founded the Xtrema project in 1999. Many of its core design ideas come from a research project at the Oregon Graduate Institute. Wim Tamens joined the project soon thereafter and greatly expanded on many aspects of the system. Many others around the world have contributed to various degrees since then. The first major release was 0.1.0, which was announced on January 11, 2001. Not long after, Xtrema picked up its first commercial backer, an embedded Linux company called Ridge Run. Towards the end of January 2001, they hired Eric Wolginson to develop methods for embedding Xtrema in smaller devices. Another Ridge Run employee, Brock A. Frazier, designed the Xtrema logo. Ridge Run later ran into financial trouble and had to let its staff go, including Eric Wolginson. Xtrema progress was mostly unaffected. The project released a series of major releases with 0.2.0 coming out in July 2001, 0.4.0 in September 2002, and 0.8.0 in March 2004. During that period the project also changed its versioning strategy and while the first releases were simply new versions, later on the middle number started signifying release series. This meant the project did release a string of 0.6x and 0.8x releases which was meant to stay binary compatible within those release series. Eric Wolginson more or less left Xtrema development behind during this time as he went on to focus on other ventures. During the 0.8x release series, the project faced some difficulties. The 0.8x series was not very popular in the Linux community mostly because of stability issues and a serious lack of features compared to competing projects like Xyme, Player or VLC. The project also suffered a bit in terms of lack of leadership as Wim Tamens, who had been the project led since Eric Wolginson had left, had also mostly ceased active participation. The 0.10 series, in 2004, a new company was founded, Fluendo, which wanted to use Xtrema to write a streaming server Flumotion and also provide multimedia solutions for Xtrema. During this time, Fluendo hired most of the core developers including Wim Tamens and attracted the support of companies such as Nokia and Intel to bring Xtrema to a professional level and drive community adoption. With Wim Tamens back at the helm, the core of Xtrema was redesigned and became what is the current 0.10x series, which had its first release in December 2005. It has maintained API and ABI compatibility since. With a new stable core in place, Xtrema gained in popularity in 2006, being used by media players including Totem, Rhythmbox and Banshee with many more to follow. 
Xtrema has also continued seeing both open source and commercial success and adoption by many different corporations and has become a very powerful cross-platform multimedia framework. In 2007, most of the core Xtrema developers left Fluendo, including Xtrema maintainer Wim Tamans who went on to co-found Colibora Multimedia together with other Xtrema veterans, while others joined Sun Microsystems, Oblong and Songbird. The One X series, Xtrema 1.0 was released on September 24, 2012. The One X series is parallel installable to Xtrema 0.10 to ease the transition, and provides many architectural advantages over the 0.10 series. Generally speaking, Xtrema 1.0 brought significant improvements for embedded processor support, lower power consumption, offloading work to specialized hardware units, hardware accelerated video decoding encoding using GPUs, zero copy memory management for better performance and lower power consumption, dynamic pipelines, API and code cleanups. Beyond the technical improvements, the One X series is also defined by a new release versioning scheme. As the Xtrema roadmap explains, all One XY versions carry a minus 1.0 API version suffix and have a stable API ABI. The API ABI can only be broken by a new major release series. However, there are currently no plans for a 2.0 release series. Until then, the new version numbering scheme can be used to predict the intended use of each release. The roadmap cites some examples, 1.0.0, 1.0.1, 1.0.2, 1.0.3. Stable release and follow-up bug fix releases, 1.1.0, 1.1.1, 1.1.2, 1.1.3. Pre-releases, development version leading up to 1.2.0. 1.2.0, 1.2.1, 1.2.2, 1.2.3. Stable release and follow up bug fix releases, 1.3.0, 1.4.0, etc. In March 2013, the Xtrema project maintainers issued a statement to clarify that the 0.10 series is no longer maintained. The statement reasserted the Xtrema project's willingness to help application and Plugin developers migrate to the new technology, and hinted that those for whom switching to the One X series was still considered impossible could seek assistance from various consulting companies. The Xtrema SDK is, for the time being, still using Xtrema 0.10. While no plans have been outlined by Colabora and Fluendo to provide official support for the One X series in the SDK at this time, the Xtrema community has provided binary builds of Xtrema 1.0.7 using the same build tools as the Xtrema SDK. 1.2 added support for Dash Adaptive Streaming, JPEG 2000 Images, VP9 and Dala Video, and decoding only support for WebP. See also Leap Visual, OG Convert, a simple GUI front end, and Player, VLC, XBMC Media Center. Xign, Pitivi, References. External links, Official Website, Website for the Xtrema SDK, Xtrema Project on Olo, Xtrema on Freenode, Xtrema FFMPEG Plugin Website, Windows Binary Installer Packages, Mac OS X Binary Installer Packages.